In the town of Kafirnabal, Syrian civil defense workers search for survivors. Local activists say residential neighborhoods like this one were attacked 10 times through the night by airstrikes. Russia says it targeted opposition fighters who fired rockets at its Hamamim air base, while activists say these strikes took a maternity hospital out of service. 18 other health facilities have been damaged or destroyed since the Russian-backed Syrian government offensive of Idlib began last month. With daylight, people began searching for what they could salvage, but many simply won't leave. The elderly, disabled, and mothers trying to support their families alone have little choice but to stay. What can I do? How will the small children live? All these women, they don't have anyone. Where will we go? This town is meant to be in a de-escalation zone, covering Idlib province and nearby areas. But over the past three weeks, most airstrikes have struck this area here. The UN says along with an increase in fighting on the ground, they've displaced at least 180,000 people, mostly from northern Hama and southern Idlib. They've been driving north into an ever smaller area, mostly under the control of al-Qaeda's former affiliate in Syria, Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, HTS. But those who have moved from Kafarnabul to the nearby city of Marat al-Numan have not found safety. Both Syria and Russia say they are targeting HTS and not civilians or civilian infrastructure. But on the ground, it's clear many of Syria's most vulnerable people are being displaced again and again. And it's thought this could be the beginning of a long campaign by the Syrian government to recapture the last rebel stronghold, putting millions of lives at risk. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.